a holiday weekend. Everybody's got a little bit of a pep in their step. They're ready for the weekend. So um, I figured out what we call this. Well, it was circuit training. There we go. Four, four, by, four by four circuit training, something like that. Yep, that's good. Yep. So we have four boxes, four movements within each box. So four different stations. That's why you have four different people. So let's just say that me, Travis, and our group, we're going to start here. I'll start on ball slams. He'll start on pop squats, partner and boasting plank, partner and bike. I'm going to do my 20 slams. When I'm done with my 20 slams, the whole group moves. So then I would go to pop squat, he would go to plank, and then our partners would go to bike. And then we would do all rotate through 20, all rotate through 15, all rotate through 10. Does that make sense with everybody? Super duper. All right, let's go over these movements in each section. Ball slams, grabbing the appropriate ball here, squat down, booty down, bringing it up and slamming it with a purpose. Maybe getting some frustrations from the week out for 20, 15, and 10. Next, pop squat. We are jumping out, jumping together, jumping out, jumping together, touching the floor to ensure we get that good depth and making sure that we're not just uh, getting that work, we're getting that booty down. Next, Bosu plank. This is a new one. Uh, we're proud of our Bosu balls now. So uh, you can have it turned over like this and just stabilizing, or if you like, uh, you can turn it over to the other side. Um, that might be a little bit less of stability um, for you. And last but not least, bike, burning it down with the booty off the seat. Next, kettlebell section here. So each of you will have a kettlebell. Uh, we're gonna start with kettlebell swings for 25. Forward, backward movement here. Notice how he's not bending his knees and doing a squat. He's shoving that booty back and then squeezing it at the top using his hamstrings. 25, 20, 15. Next, kettlebell row all the way up underneath the chin, leading with the elbows and controlling it back down. No need to get in a rush on these active rests uh, because you're just going off of your partner. So uh, just control it every step of the way. Next, goblet squat, feet uh, hip width apart or a little bit inside. You can elevate your heels if you'd like. Squatting down as low as humanly possible and back up, kettlebell underneath the chin. Last but not least in this section, kettlebell pull through. So you guys are in a plank. You're pulling across the body. So right arm, left side, left arm, right side, pulling it uh, through. If you notice yourself kind of dragging it and pushing it to the other side, you're using the wrong hand. Next, burpees. 10, 8, 6. Good old picture ones. Chest down to the ground and exploding up. If you're like me and like to make things a little bit saucy, you can always grab some dumbbells. Next, sky punch. Ooh, the arrow is wrong on here. Uh, we are keeping those elbows at 90 degrees. We are punching up and just alternating those hands. Nothing too heavy here, nothing serious, just keeping those shoulders burning. High knee is the next one. If you want to hold those dumbbells, fill free. Uh, that's a nice little burn there. And last but not least, standing chest wise is where we go out and then squeeze in, get those pec muscles squeezing together and controlling it on the way down. Last but not least, this section, the bench hops are going to be done over there on the Reebok benches, uh, but he's just going to demonstrate right here. 40, 30, and 20 bench hops. Hands on the bench, jumping side to side. If that's too much, you can do the single leg if you'd like, or go to the end. Next, crunches. So unlike a sit-up, you guys are keeping your back flat and you are getting that core totally engaged and just crunching and back down. Uh, so no need to sit up all the way, just getting that good burn. Next, half burpees. In that palm plank position, you are firing those knees into the chest, curling that tushy under, sitting on the heels. No need to do uh, the quarter burpees uh, where we're just bringing it uh, uh, like that. Next, leg raises. You can bring your hands underneath your booty. Uh, you can have a weight overhead, uh, whatever you'd like. But I just want you guys to notice that his back is completely flat. It's not about how far the legs go down and then arching the back. That's what causes those back problems. Squeeze that core and engage it. Any questions? Everybody have a group of four. 
two, 